Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse, um, let's see. Let's see. We'll start at 64. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64, and it reads, And the Lord thy power shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth even to the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. And among these nations thou shalt find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and felling of eyes and sorrow of mind, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of thy life. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace. Blessings and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a just something quick. This is it, man. This is what we got to face. This is what we're facing each and every day of our lives. Life just hanging in doubt. An Israelite man was found hanging from a tree in northern, northern, north Georgia. This happened a couple of days ago. You see it, man. Yellow tape. Please do not cross. You see the tree. Another Israelite man. You see. This happened on 226 through 1024. Life, life just constantly hanging in doubt. That's why the scriptures say, Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. But then our people want to stay here, though. But someone told Micah 20, this is gonna be something quick. This is bring just, just little Israelites. This is not our rest. This is not our home. So it says our life is gonna hang in doubt each and every day. That's, that's why we gotta be constantly praying to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That's why we gotta do the things that are well pleasing to the Lord. We, we gotta fear, we gotta fear the God of the Bible. Look, look, look. All the issues of death come from the Lord. Remember, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? And in the scriptures tell us whoever perish being innocent. This, this, this is hard right here, man. This is the things that our people look, man. It's going to be more of this. This The Lord said the beginning of sorrows, the beginning of mornings. It, 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 the scriptures even say, but for all these things, our people shall not turn from like the, the Lord is judging people, right? But the scripture say, you see all this judgment going forward. The majority of our people are still not going to turn from their wickedness and they're going to make the news. I want to get this again. Deuteronomy 28, 64. And the Lord thy power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shahu, the only called God and Jesus, shall scatter thee, shall scatter who? The Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans among all people. Among all different nations, we have been scattered among all different nations. That's why you got the um, Israelite foreigners. They may look like um, these heathen, these heathen nations, because we have been scattered among them. And the Israelite man laid down with these um, other nations' women. So I could lay down with a Chinese woman. The baby could come out looking like the, the mother, but it's still my seed. The baby is still an Israelite, right? Says the Lord going to scatter us among all these different nations, right? From the one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. Israelites everywhere, right? As the sand of the sea, as the scriptures have said, right? And there thou shalt serve other gods. See, see we were scattered because we, we started um, um, serving other gods, right? Bear with me. Everything is everything that's happening to the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American is, is happening because of our wickedness. It did look, look, and the, and the average is like they see an article like this. They're, they're not going to turn from their wickedness. They're not going to turn from worshiping other gods and committing abominable acts and 
They're not going to turn from their wickedness. The, the Israelite woman, she's not going to um, turn from um, practicing witchcraft and things of that nature. Even though the scriptures say, I suffer not a witch to live. Israelite men and women out there, two-thirds of our people, they're not going to stop committing adultery. You see? They're not going to start stop celebrating the cousins of the heathens. This is why we got scattered. The, the main reason why we went on them cargo slave ships. We turned our back on our power and started serving idols. You see? And look, look, and this is the punishment for it. It's, it's a harsh one, but this is the punishment for it, right? It says, and there, look, from one end of the earth, even to the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods. That's why you got our people serving um, Buddha, Santa Maria, the Hindu goddess Shiva, the Egyptian gods, Jebus, you see, and everything else up under the sun, right? Uh, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations, among these nations, where we're scattered at, right? And among these nations, thou shalt find no ease. No, no ease, Israel. It's going, you're going to always be worried about some. Because we're being ruled over by our enemies. You ain't going to find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. In pursuant to Micah 2 and 10, this ain't our rest anyway. You see? We're slaves, right? It says, um, but the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, once again, who they, who they call God and Jesus, shall give thee there a trembling heart. Always worried about something. Just like this dude right here. Just like this dude right here. An Israelite man was found hanging from a tree in North Georgia, man. Uh, your life just straight up hanging down, right? It says, um, and among these nations shalt thou find no ease, no, no matter if you're around the Chinese, you're around the Arabs, you're around these so-called white people, you see, uh, right around the Africans, uh, the Dahe East Indians, if I didn't already say them, you see, no matter if you're over there in Hawaii, you know what I'm saying, among, among um, Jaffet, and the other different islands over there, you won't find ease, man. You're just always worried about something. The Lord said, there he's going to give you a trembling of heart, meaning that mind. You're always going to be worried about something, right? And failing of eyes, no help whatsoever. And sorrow of mind. Always worried about something, right? And look, look, look. And thy life shall hang in doubt. You don't know if you're going to be, you're going to make it five minutes from now. And thou, and thou shall fear day and night. And shall have no assurance of thy life. And this, this all happened because this is all part of the punishment, right? This part of the curses, man. The, these curse, curses, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, 15 on down, it fits the biblical Hebrew Israelites. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Israelites, foreigners has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that make look like these different nations, right? This is happening throughout the four corners of the earth. And, and it's still happening here in Babylon. This is the other day. You see it right there, 226 2024. And I'm, I'm going to get the backstory on it. Just bear with me. Was, Tre, Tre, was Trevante Jamal Subbert Helton, he got a long ass name, lynched? Israelite man, because there ain't no, ain't no such thing as a black man, ain't no such thing as a white man, right? You got different shades of brown, you know what I'm saying? You got a, um, a light pink to a cherry red, all right? An Israelite man found hanging from a tree in Georgia. This is the dude right here. Our life is going to hang in doubt. That's why the scriptures tell us to walk circumspectly. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. The scripture says it's going to go well with those that fear Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, but it's not going to go well with the wicked. He did, he did something, man. Georgia investigators are searching for answers after the body of an Israelite man was found hanging from a tree last week along a hiking trail in North Georgia. Last week, Israel. Not, not three years from now, not, not seven years ago, not three years ago, not a year ago, not, 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 this ain't 1950, this is 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, and the Lord is getting it in, man, all right? It says, um, according to Fox 5, the body of Trey Vonti, 
um, Hilton was found by a Georgia deputy February the 21st in a Swallow Creek wildlife management area located near Indian Grave Gap Road near Hawassi. The sheriff officials immediately posted about the incident on Facebook concerning that deputies have found the man hanging from a tree. This, this is not our red little Micah 2 and 10. And look, look, and the scripture say greater evils. We haven't seen nothing yet, right? Is it I'm gonna just something quick? It says uh, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, which was asked to help local law enforcement with the investigation, identified the body on Thursday morning as 29-year-old Trevante Jamal um, um, Hilton from the town of Suti Nakachi. You see? And you can you can read into it. You can just continue to look, 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 man. This is not our rest. The Lord said your life is going to hang in doubt, Israel. This is the guy right here. This is Trayron right here. Look, 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 look. Happened on the, um, February the 21st. Today is the 29th. You know what I'm saying? A couple of days ago. This happened a couple of days ago. And look, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living part. That's why we constantly warn our people over and over. Turn back to the God of the Bible. Bear, bear, bear with me. See, the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways, week in and week out, but the majority of our people, look, look, and, it, and it's Israelite groups all, all through Georgia. You see? All through, look, look, man, every, if one know everybody, know you got you got um, videos of us preaching, you know what I'm saying? You got Israelites being videos everywhere, YouTube, Facebook, you, you name it, man. All kind of websites with the men of the Lord out there preaching, telling our people to repent, turn back to the God of the Bible, but they look at us like we crazy, right? Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, we read this all over and over, all the time. You Israelites, you Israelite men and women, you're going to learn. And some of you are going to learn the hard way, man. All right? Seek the God of the Bible. Turn from your wickedness, man. All right? This is 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13, and it reads, that whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel, that whosoever represents the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to death. This is plain Israel. Whether small or great, whether man or woman, the Israelites that don't want to take heed, you're you you're probably gonna make the news. You're you're probably gonna make the news just like Trayvon. Georgia investigators are searching for answers after the after the body of an Israelite man was found hanging from a tree last week along a hiking trail in North Georgia. And it's the dude right here, Trayvon. You see? He was one of them, he was one of them Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He was one of them Israelites that won't seek in the God of the Bible. Look, look, what the scripture say? Uh, seek the Lord in the days of thy youth. Seek thy creator in the days of thy youth. Why the evil days come not? Well, the evil days eventually came upon this dude because he won't think about the Lord. You can see that, man. Look, 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 whether small or great, whether man or what, the warning has went out over and over and over. No, no, nothing but one. As a matter of fact, um, since, since I read that scripture, I might as well, I quoted it. I might as well read it. Let's just get this right quick. This is not our rest. We're supposed to be seeking the God of the Bible, Israel. Let's get this right here. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, and it reads, Remember now thy creator, who, who created us, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you eagerly call God and Jesus, right? Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. But the first thing a, a, a ninja say is I'm young, dumb, and I'm full of calm, right? Now, look, look, I ain't got to seek that. I ain't got to seek the power, y'all, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I got my career. I got, I got money. I'm living my best life and all. That. Then they say no sudden wrath come upon you, right? When you, when you least suspect it too, right? He thought he had his whole life ahead of the, the, the going right back there. I mean, Ecclesiastes, the ninth chapter, it goes into that. How man knoweth not his time as the birds that are caught in a snare, so as the fish is caught in a trap. 
and so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, in a bad time, when it falls suddenly upon them. So, you see, so all that plan around, it eventually catches up to you, Israel. All this plan around from the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Israelite men and women, it comes to an end eventually. Remember now that creator and the days of thy youth, you have been warned. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So the Lord didn't have no pleasure in this dude anymore. He, I mean, what good was he doing for the earth? What good was he, was he doing for the God of the Bible? None whatsoever, right? He had his own plans. Trayvon, Trayvon had his own plans. He, he, he wanted to do his own thing. He showed up they want to take heed to the Lord. The Lord gave him opportunity on top of opportunity. He, he, he probably rolled past or either walked past um, camps teaching the word. Paul ignored all the warning signs, ignored all the videos, and, and now look. Now, now, now he, he's up in the heavens now, bowing down now. Since you didn't want to bow down, when you was on the earth, you didn't want to bow down. So the Lord had to take you back home, and now you're bowing down now. Now, you, now you're standing in front of the Creator now. You see, bowing down, right? Feeling bad for what you did, right? Isaiah chapter 55. Let's just get this. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Once again, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus, why he may be found, why these videos are still going out, why the men of the Lord can still be found on the highways and byways, right? It says, Call ye upon him while he is near. Now, we, we're giving you the proper name in the Hebrew tongue. In the Lashawan Kodash, we're giving you the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son to call on. We need help. This is not already the Lord said, no matter where you go, no matter what country you're in, you're, in, you're not going to find any ease. Your life is going to hang in doubt. You're always going to be worried about how you're going to pay them damn bills. You're always going to be worried about if you're going to have a job the next day. You're going to always be worried about, you know what I'm saying, if the police going to bang you to deletion today. Anything, always worried about something, right? It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man's thoughts and let him return to the Lord. Turn back, repent. We we, we all got to do it. And this, this is every day, all right? We all got to, what, what does the word repent mean? You ain't going to look it up. What does the word repent mean? It means to turn back sorrowful, remorseful, regretful for all our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings in this life and our former lives. Because we've been here more than once. That, why do you think we're here now? Because we're being punished for what we did in our former life. In the life before that, in the life before that. Ever since Genesis, Israel has been going off. Ever since the garden, Israel has been going off, man. The Lord said, forsake your wicked ways, man, and your unrighteous thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy on him. Look, 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 if the Israelites had turned back, the God of the Bible said, so I have mercy on you, man. And that's what we're praying for. That's what we're begging for, mercy. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. You got to turn back first. How, how should a young man cleanse his way by taking heed to this word? Eventually, the Israelites that don't take heed to this word, you're, you're out of there. Look, look, the Israelites that don't take heed to this word, just like Trayvon. Just like Trayvon. What was the name again? Tra Tom, Travion, Trevante, Trevante. Look, look, just like Trevante, you know what I'm saying? And he was on, he was what, 29? Uh, yeah, he was 29, you know what I'm saying? He ain't listening. He ain't listening, man. You see, let's look at him, man. All right. There's a, this is just something quick, too, man. The Israelites are not turning back. This ain't our rest, man. We, we're in captivity. We're in slavery. Let's get this. I just want to get this. Just something quick, like I said before. Michael, look, look, look. Whoever perish being innocent, right? It's a, one, I got I to keep quoting that Hebrews 10, 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Remember, you know what I'm saying? Um, what, um, a couple of months back, they said they found all them different bodies behind that um, Mississippi jail. People people still had their wallets in their pockets and all that. This ain't our rest, man. We in our enemy's land, a stolen land. You don't know if you're going to make it home from work. You see, you don't know if you're going to make it home from school. You, you don't know if you're going to make it home, period. You don't know if something's going to happen to you while you're in your home. 
Because this is not our rhythm. This ain't the kingdom of heaven for us, man. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Quick little warning. Little, 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 repent, Israel, or you might be the next victim. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye in the part, for this is not your rest. Come out of the customs, the mind state of this people's place. You know what I'm saying? The dogma, the, 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 the hogwash. We are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, and we got a power that we need to serve. To the best of our ability, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. And Devontae, you know what I'm saying, had to find it out the hard way. Devontae had to find it out the hard way because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Only thing he probably was thinking about either basketball or career. Chasing a whole lot of women, and now, now he on news one now. Now he didn't make in the news. Now he's on news one now. You see, he he made the headlines. I people want to be famous anyway. So look, so Devontae, he made the headlines, man. And like the scripture say, no matter how many judgment go forth, no saying the unjust north no shame. The unjust north no shame, man. You see, I, I, I might as well get this Amos chapter nine. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Just get that right quick. Amos chapter 9, verse 8. And it reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, which are the angels, are upon that sinful kingdom. Ultimately, it's talking about the Israelites, right? Our people of wickedness has passed the deeds of the wicked, man. And then the Lord making a move on them now. You know what I'm saying? And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Two thirds got to go, man. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So that small remnant, the elect, Lord willing with part of that hopeful number, is going to get delivered. It's going to be protected. You see, during these perilous times, the Lord said in the last days, perilous times shall come. It's here now, Israel. Straight up, perilous times. And no one, therefore, the terror of the Lord. Look, look, we persuade men. I don't want to get this. You can read this in the article. I just want to bring out some scriptures. Just letting you know, man. Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel chapter 18. Um, 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Hey, look, look, man. The God of the Bible is a hard teacher, man. He's a hard teacher. G gives Israel chances over and over, over and over, over and over and over and over. But once we hear this word, the scriptures say, uh, once you hear the word, what would it say? Um, he or she that knoweth to do good and doeth it not is unto them as sin, and the wages of sin is death. What is sin? Transgressing on the law. Breaking the laws that just commands of the Bible. We got to at least rehearse it. Even though we up on a grace right about now, we still got to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability because faith without works is dead. What the Lord said again, therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel. Devontae got judged, man. Won't that his name? Travante. Travante got judged, man. You see? On February the 21st. You see? He got judged, man. He was lynched, man. The Lord had him get lynched, man. You see? Everyone according to his ways. Save the Lord. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity, wickedness, sin upon sin shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you all your transgressions. Get away from the wickedness. The scripture say, uh, abstain from in all appearance of evil, right? Look, look, look. Trayvon was doing something, right? He was doing wrong, right? Wherefore, whereby ye have transgressed and make you a new heart, a new clean, fresh mind, right? And a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel, but the Israelites that don't turn back, look, it's going, it's going to be your faith. It's going to be your faith. Not faith, but faith. That's going to be your faith if you don't turn back. And I want to get this last one. Remember, the scripture says, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the, so the Lord rejected um, Trevante, he, he took too long. The scripture say, make no terror to turn to the Lord. Trevante took all day, though, right? He thought he had tomorrow, right? You see? Jeremiah chapter 11. Just something quick, too. Jeremiah chapter 11. Let us all fear the God of the Bible. Let us do it now, too. Jeremiah 11 and 11, and it reads, 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. The hell with what everybody else doing. We got to seek the Lord, man. All right? The scriptures, the scriptures say, um, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Trevante, he didn't want to work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. And then the Lord has to put, this is a scary thing about it. The Lord has to put his spirit on you to seek him, man. All right? Jeremiah 11 and 11. And it reads, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. And our people, they didn't heard already going right back to romans the 10th chapter have they not heard yes verily their sound went out into all the earth and their words to the inner earth by way of the internet everybody got a phone everybody has a phone behold i will bring evil meaning bad times upon them which they shall not be able to escape the lord brung up brung evil meaning bad times upon trayvon man trevante man bear with me Jeremiah 11, 11, one more time. Therefore, thus saith the Lord. It's always thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Bible. Behold, I will bring evil upon them. A Israelite man found hanging from a tree in North Georgia. The Lord said, I'm bringing evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And you know he was hooping and hollering. You know he was crying and all that, calling out for the Lord. The, the Lord gave, look, look, this, this, the sand ran out of the hourglass. The Lord gave, gave everybody enough time to turn back and repent. You see, which they shall not be able to escape, and though they shall cry unto me, this is going to be the results of a whole lot of you Israelites, man. And look, look and something even worse, at least ye repent, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. This is just something quick, man. And the scripture say, should there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? The Lord said, I create peace, and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Well, look, look, we, we warn you. The Lord said, give them warning from me. We, we warn we warn you, Israel. Turn back to the God of the Bible while you still have time. You Israelite men and women, turn back. I, I read Micah 2 and 10. This is not our rest. I read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verse 64 on down. Your life is going to hang in doubt. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thy own understanding. More judgment going forth. Shalom.